Hello YouTube people, this is Princess OKB. Um, I am doing another haul video. Um, I just recently picked up a bunch of new stuff from, I went to Walmart and then I also went to Rite Aid and I'm really getting into the Wet n Wild line. I'm, I'm really impressed by how they up their game with their form, their new form there, especially their eyeshadows and their products are really affordable. So if you can't afford the high-end products such as MAC and such as like Too Faced or Urban Decay, or Wet n Wild and Elf are really good options for you guys, and you can find them at you can find them on their respective websites, Elf uh, Eyeslipsface.com as well as WNW.com for Wet n Wild. And you can also find it on Cherry Culture. You can find some Wet n Wild products on Cherry Culture. You can also find them at your local Rite Aid or CVS or Walgreens or maybe even Target and Walmart. So let's get started. Um, I picked up some new shadows and I got the little shadow quad from Wet n Wild, the color icon shadow quad. I got I have one in spoiled brat. If you can see those really, really pretty colors. There's like a sh there's like a silver up here. It's like a shimmery silver. See that clears up a little bit. Then there's like a nice little shimmery black in the middle. And then for your eyelet color, it's a pretty, pretty pink. And it, it's cool because it comes with these two mini brushes. One for you to apply it, the other for you to, to blend it into your crease. And I'm going to open it up and give you a swatch. Yeah, you see these little mini brushes? They're really cool. I like them. And this is the little crease one. You can just blend it all in. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swatch the pink one. And you see that's really, really pigmented. And there's the black. Nice pigmentation. It's way better than their formula was. Ooh, that silver is really pretty. And it's way better than their formula was a long time ago. Because, yeah, it wasn't. You, you were getting what you got for your money, but it wasn't really good quality. But now they're really, really good quality. And this is the one in Palette and Spoiled Brat. You can see that one. And I also have one in Getting Sunburned. This one's a nice little, it's kind of like a little peachy gold type thing. Yeah, it's brand new. I just haven't even opened the label yet. Let me see. Let's check this one out. Uh, then make sure you don't get into these beforehand. You can't even test these out. Okay. This one, this one really caught my eye because of the color. I saw that they had a nice brown color as well as a pretty, pretty gold color in here too and these are the colors it's a nice little peachy brown brow bowl color it's, it's really shimmery and they have the it's like a nice little cocoa brown crease color as well as a nice shimmery gold and I'll swatch those for you this one's the pink one Ooh, it has like silver undertones underneath it if you can see that Ooh, this one's a really really dark brown it's almost like a mocha and it's really shimmery, very pigmented. And this is a nice, rich gold. It's like kind of an old gold color. It's really pretty. Clean my fingers there. But what I do like about these is that they're really affordable. You don't have to go and break the bank just to buy a $20 palette when you can buy one that only costs. Hmm, like two dollars and it does the same thing if not better and this one was the one and I'm getting sunburned okay also bought a sink one of the elf single um, eyeshadow pots and those are really nice too I am actually in love with this one I saw a video of one of the other YouTube one of the other youtubers and she was saying that she really liked this one I'm not sure what her I forgot what her YouTube name was but I'll find her and I will put, give her a little shout out. But it was the Wet n Wild Single Color Icon one in Nutty. It's a nice little brown color. My fingers still black. It's a nice little brown color. You can use it as a base or a highlight. But I really do like it. It's nice. Let me swatch it for you. See, I only dabbed it once and that's how much color came off. You can see that. It's a nice little gold kind of, it's a nice kind of gold silvery kind of old color but it's really pretty they come in like little you have like a little design in the middle come in nice little little containers they're really pretty um something else I also picked up from wet n wild I got 
I tried their six quad wet and wild palette. I have the one that's in comfort zone. It has the eight colors. It has the little brown and gold colors over here and it has nice deep green colors on this side. And this one did come with a double ended brush too. And I was kind of sad when I was out with my friends and it kind of, some of the colors on the side kind of broke up. You see the one on the bottom? Yeah, like a piece just fell off just now. Then this little, this little gold one right here in the middle. I was very sad, but they still work. But I'm going to swatch a couple of them for you. The color that catches my eye is this bottom definer color. Let's see what that one looks like. See, it's really pretty. It has like, it's green. Kind of like a metallic green as well as a really pretty really dark purple even almost black to the point where it's mixed with silver too it's, it's kind of weird but it's really pretty really nice definer color that'll go on your eyelid like right where the lash line is and inside the crease so it'll be really pretty for defining color another color i thought was pretty in this palette was this brown one right here the crease color swatch that one See, that one's really pretty. It has gold undertones in it. And it's really, really dark. Really sultry. Really, you can get a nice smoky eye with that color. And those are the palettes that I have for Wet n Wild. All of these you can pick up. I picked this one up at Walmart. And actually, I did get all of I got all of I got these two. I got these two from Walmart. And then I got these two at Rite Aid. But you can get them all in the same place. But I happen to go to both places today. So I want to spoil myself. So it's good to do that sometimes. Not all the time. <laughs> um, some stuff. I got another palette. Um, I actually saw that um, one of the YouTubers, her name is Emily Noel. And I'm trying to remember the last name numbers. I know it has a number in her username. But her name is Emily, Emily Noel. And she said that this is her favorite smoky eye palette for natural eye. And it was the brightening eye, this brightening eye color palette from e.l.f. And it's in, I think it was butternut. And this is really, really nice. It has nice little brown, nice little brown creamy looking colors in it for you to get a nice little natural eye. I'm going to swatch this really dark brown in the palette. And that one's a nice little brown. And this one's the second to darkest color brown that's in that palette. They all have little hints of sparkles in them. If you can see that. That one's the second to dark, second to darkest color in that one. They have nice little hints of shimmer in it so that you can get that eye eye brightening um, after effect on your makeup. And I think it's really cool. Um, I picked up a couple more eyeliner pens, or eyeliner pens, cause I had one that dried up the Elf waterproof pen I had. It dried up on me for some reason, so I had to buy it again, cause I really like this one. Give you a nice precise line, and it's really dark. And I've also bought one from Wet n Wild in their Mega Eyes collection. It's a nice little eyeliner pen. Has a nice little felt tip pen, felt tip end, and it's really really nice. I'm gonna swatch it. You can see that. It's a nice line. I'll let it dry and show you how how really good this line is. So I'll put, I'll swatch that one and then I'll swatch the elf one too. So this one over here is the wet and wild and that one is the elf right there on the outside. So let's let that dry and I'll show you later on to see how really good quality those are. Also bought a new mascara, the Mega Volume from Wet n Wild too. Has a nice typical brush. It's the spiral brush. It's not the one that has the bristles. This is the spiral bristle brush. And all of these products, again, are really cheap, really affordable, and they're really good quality for the price that you're paying. I got a couple of lip products from Wet n Wild, too. I got their Mega Slicks. Got their Mega Slicks, their lip gloss. And I have three of them. I have a color in Strawberry Ice. This is a nice little peach color. I have one in Seedless Watermelon. This one's really nice. You, very, you can see through it. It's really red. But it goes on. It's, it looks liquidy in the inside. As opposed to this one, you can see. And it looks kind of, you can't see through it. But this one you can. And then I also got this one. Actually, this one, the dark one. This one's Cherry Glaze. And this one is 
seedless watermelon. They're kind of similar, if you can see. But this one's cherry glaze, and this one's seedless watermelon. And they're really nice. I like them. Also got Elf's Luscious Lip Liquid Lipstick and Baby Lips. This is the only this is the only one they had in Walmart, which was weird. But it comes with a nice little brush, nice little brush um, applicator instead of an actual tube one because it holds more bacteria. All you gotta do is just twist the bottom, and the product will just come out of the top. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah, I see the product is coming out at the top. You see that? Yeah, there you go. I'll just put it on since it's already out. Huh. Ooh. This is nice. Let's see. Some other stuff I picked up. I got uh, eye makeup remover. I didn't have any. Cause I usually just wash my face anyway with makeup uh, with um sorry something's bothering my nose. Um, I I either just wash my face anyway with some um face wash that I had and it so happens to say that it gets rid of dirt, oil, and makeup anyway. So I just wash my face really good. But I want to pick some of that up. Also got an Elf bronzing brush. It's like an angled blush brush. I need to get one of these because I hadn't had one yet. Nice bristles. This is only a dollar. And I found it at Walmart. It's funny because when I had already checked out with a lot of stuff that I got from Walmart, I went back into the aisles and didn't realize that Walmart carried Elf. So I had to go back and splurge again and then buy some more products from over there. Also got a brow and brush defining comb. A brow, bro a brow, a brow, <laughs> a brow comb and brush. Sorry. And I needed one of those too so I can get my eyebrows in check so I don't have to pay every time every week to get them done I can just do them myself also have an, I also picked up another tube of my elf my favorite primer elf eyelid primer it's only a dollar but it works really nice if you want to try another one you can also try I think um, Too Faced has an eye primer um, NYX has a nice eye primer as well as the Urban K primer potion that's really good too and I found some pretty pretty nail polishes. One from Wet n Wild, their Mega Blacks Mega Blast collection. They have a new Mega collection. They're doing a whole bunch of Mega. And this one was in Under Your Spell. And this one has a nice different. It has a different brush. It has the professional. If you can see that, it has the professional um, manicure curve brush. So when you take it out, the brush the bristles are actually flat and it's curved. If you can see that. It's a nice, nice dark, dark red. And when you put it on, it goes on clear, I think. And then it has like the red undertones once you layer it. It's a nice little bottle. But it's it, this one was, I think, $1.99. But they're having a sale 40% off when you have your club cart at Rite Aid. So I would just pick that up. Also get another wet and wild wild shine color. This one is in wild card. It's a nice little purple color. And I really do like purple. And that's like a really, really pretty. Oops, it's about to drip out. Really pretty purple color. I also I also saw that this was new, a brand new nail polish, the magnetic nail polish from Sally Hansen. And I have mine in electric emerald. And I am gonna do a video on this to see how this works. Because I'm really curious to see how this works. There's supposedly the magnet is right here. On the, on the top, you just put it, once you put one coat on and let it dry, put another coat on and just have it stay on the top of your nail for like, I think, just hold it there and don't touch the nail polish. But yeah, I'm really curious to see how this works. It's almost as, it's almost as if it's like the marble nail art. I want to try that too. I'm going to try it. I'm going to do a video on that one too. So, but that is all I have to share for you guys. Thank you for tuning in. And look out for my new videos. I'm going to be posting some new videos pretty soon. I'm going to play around with the makeup that I have and see what other looks I can come up with. So thank you. See you later. I almost forgot, um, if you see my makeup, I just did another video, but I almost forgot in my previous haul video, um, I did swatch two of my eyeliner pens, and just to show you, 
This one, remember, this one was the Mega Eyes for Wet n Wild, and this one was the Elf one. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to rub it up a little bit. They do not budge at all. Still really good. Sorry, I just wanted to show you guys that because I had definitely forgot. But thanks again. Like, share, and comment my videos below. And subscribe. And see you guys later.